To this day, Democrats insist that Donald Trump is still colluding with the Russians and that the Russians are interfering in our election to once again help Donald Trump win. That was one of the main arguments they made in 2016 and following. We endured years of the Russiagate investigation where they claim Donald Trump colluded with Russia with foreign help to steal the election from Hillary Clinton. They launched an investigation, the Mueller probe. They didn't find evidence of any collusion. And as we now know, evidence keeps piling up that this whole thing was a hoax. We also have evidence to suggest Joe Biden himself was helping stage this hoax to sabotage the incoming administration after Donald Trump actually won. The latest declassified documents suggest Hillary Clinton made the whole thing up to distract the public from her email scandal. Now, these are allegations. And of course, the resistance Democrat types are saying Donald Trump is selectively releasing documents to make it seem like he's innocent. The only problem, the Mueller probe found nothing. So if I had to make an assessment, I would say the Democrats are lying about this. We have seen the anti-war progressives agree the Russia hoax narrative was ridiculous. Check this out. DNI declassifies Brennan Notes CIA memo on Hillary Clinton, quote, stirring up scandal between Trump and Russia. A source said Brennan's handwritten notes were taken after briefing Obama on the matter. I got to try and break this down for you. Please listen. One of the biggest challenges in covering the Russiagate hoax and Obamagate when they spied on Donald Trump is that they're extremely complicated stories to break down. And there's a ton of evidence that paints a picture. Most people don't follow this because it's increasingly difficult to stay up to date on all of the facts that are emerging. But let me just say, every day as more information comes out, it looks more and more like the Democrats lied and sabotaged Donald Trump's incoming campaign for whatever reason, because they lost, because they were doubling down on the hoax they were perpetrating, at least if this if these allegations about Hillary Clinton are true. They were trying to disrupt and damage Donald Trump before he got into office. But I believe there may be other motives. You see, before Donald Trump got elected, the Russiagate story narrative was an attempt to actually stop him from winning. But he won. After he got elected, it was an attempt to to sabotage his, his entire first term so that he couldn't do anything and thus they could hurt him, impeach him, or prevent him from winning a second term. It doesn't seem to be working. Donald Trump has the power and the documents are being declassified. Of course, how do you think the media is handling these things? This is where it gets scary. We have evidence of more corruption, more evidence than we had about Trump. So this should warrant an investigation. In fact, documents were, were sent to the feds suggesting they should investigate Hillary Clinton. They didn't. They investigated Donald Trump. And this is where we're at now. The media is pumping out story after story, making it seem like, oh, actually, Trump is just trying to trick everybody. If I'm going to entertain three years plus of Russiagate, we're going to entertain Obamagate because why not? I mean, like they said about Trump, if you've got nothing to hide, then what's the problem with the investigation? Well, let's get into this and see exactly what's going on. Before we get started, head over to TimCast.com slash donate if you'd like to support my work. There are many ways you can give. There's a P.O. box if you'd like to send me stuff. But the best thing you can do, share this video. I'm going to show you Fox News. I'm going to show you CNN. And I'm also going to show you Just Security, who gives a pretty fair assessment of what these documents mean. It is not definitive proof of anything. And I'm going to criticize a Fox News op-ed that tries to make it seem like this is proof Hillary Clinton did do this. This just shows it is not clear cut. And it may mean that Hillary Clinton did try to frame Trump, considering the evidence we have about Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Comey, Sally Yates, all of these individuals whose names, many of them you're probably saying, I don't know who these are. I'm going to show you evidence to suggest there is dirty politics afoot, and it really does seem like the previous administration was sabotaging the current. If you think that's important for people to know, please share this video. It's not going to be perfect. I'm going to try my best to break this down, but trust me when I say the details involved in the Obamagate and Russiagate scandals are extremely difficult to break down, and you would probably need a three-hour-long documentary to truly understand just what happened. 
But if you think I'm doing a good enough job, please share this so that people can figure out a little bit of what's going on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I don't want to read Fox News or CNN for you first. I want to read just security. And to be fair, I believe that some of these just security reporters and journalists are biased against Trump. But upon reading the news, it seems that their assessment, their initial publication of what happened is the most fair. And then I'll show you what's happening. They say Ratcliffe declassification of of CIA documents. Director of National Intelligence John Ratcliffe yesterday declassified documents that revealed former CIA director John Brennan had briefed former President Barack Obama on Hillary Clinton's alleged attempt to link President Trump, then the presidential candidate, to Russia as a means of distracting the public from her use of a private email server ahead of the 2016 presidential election and revealed a CIA, CIA memo that shows officials referred the issue to the FBI to potentially investigate. Wow. Let me just repeat this for you. John Brennan briefed Obama on Hillary Clinton's alleged attempt to link Trump to Russia as a means of distracting the, pu- the public from her, private u- from her use of a private email server. Did you know that after it was requested by the Senate that Hillary Clinton turn over something around 30,000 30, or so emails. The emails were deleted from her server. And she says, well, they were supposed to have been, de- been deleted a long time ago. And the company that handled it was just on track to delete it. Did you know that Hillary Clinton's people smashed cell phones with hammers? Did you know that many people who are implicated in Obamagate, many of these people who were investigating Trump over the Russia scandal, even though many of them knew Hillary Clinton was, was accused of making the whole thing up, they wiped their phones, the Mueller probe, as, as John Durham and Bill Barr, I, I should say John Durham, the Durham investigation, is seeking to understand how Russia gets started. Many of the people who are involved in the Mueller probe erased their cell phones. What is going on? Why are they destroying evidence? This is crazy stuff, man. Check this out. They said the documents, which include handwritten notes from Brennan, were released to the House and Senate Intelligence Committees yesterday at the, at the direction of Trump, Ratcliffe said in a statement to Fox News. Brennan's notes were, however, written prior to his briefing with Obama on the matter. A source familiar with the documents said, we are getting additional insight. In, here's a quote. We're getting additional insight into Russian activities from redacted. Adding, cite, summarizing, alleged approved by Hillary Clinton, a proposal from one of her foreign policy advisors to vilify Donald Trump by stirring up a scandal claiming interference by the Russian security service. Most of the detail was redacted, but in the margins is stated JC, Dennis, and Susan, which some have said could be referring to, respectively, former FBI Director James Comey, former National Security Advisor Susan Rice, and Obama's Chief of Staff Dennis McDonough, Brooks Singman reports for Fox News. This is coming as a breakdown from just security. And as I said, there are several journalists at Just Security who I believe are actually biased. But there it is. It's important to point out these are allegations. And apparently the source of these allegations are from Russian intelligence sources. So naturally, Brennan said, Brennan yesterday accused Radcliffe of selectively declassifying the documents and memo to advance the political interests of Trump and close Republican, and close Republican allies. Speaking in an, in an interview with CNN's Jake Tapper, These were my notes from the 2016 period when I briefed President Obama and the rest of the National Security Council team about what the Russians were up to. And I was giving examples of the type of access that the U.S. intelligence community had to Russian information and what the Russians were talking about and alleging. I'm going to stop right there. If that's true and the Russians believe that Hillary was trying to frame Trump and them, why would the CIA disregard this if they're saying they had access to Russian information? then it sounds like the Russians weren't ceding the information to America. The Russians actually believed that they were being set up along with Trump. I'm no fan of Russia. I think Russia's interfering. I just don't think their interference is all that big of a deal. Like it's not particularly successful. They overtly interfere with Russia today and Sputnik. They just pay to produce news to influence the US. Call it what it is. It's I wouldn't call it Russian propaganda. I would call it news that benefits their perspective and their goals. Propaganda, in a certain sense, I guess you can say is fair. But in this regard, it sounds like we knew, the United States knew, Russia was talking about this, not lying about this. In which case, 
Why did they investigate Donald Trump if they knew the source of this could potentially be Hillary Clinton? I wonder. Brennan made clear, they say, he also pushed back on on the CIA, CIA memo revealed, which claimed that Clinton's actions were a means of distracting the public from her use of a private email server, stating that if in fact what the Russians were alleging, that Hillary was trying to highlight the reported connections between Trump and the Russians, if that was accurate and a big if, there is nothing at all illegal about that. Let me stop you right there, good sir. Why would the Russians who are actively colluding with Donald Trump, according to this guy, be shocked that Hillary Clinton is accusing them of colluding with Trump to distract over their email servers. If the Russians knew that they were colluding with Russia and then heard this, wouldn't the Russian intelligence say Hillary Clinton is on to us and she's figured it out? Or are they suggesting the Russians knew the CIA had infiltrated Russian intel and had access to the information. So they staged a fake claim in their own documents. Now you're getting too crazy for me. The Mueller probe did not find evidence of collusion. So what is the logical conclusion? There was no collusion. And the actual the actual claims were made up by Hillary Clinton. The CIA knew this, or at least they knew the allegations existed. And instead of investigating Hillary, And stopping this lie, they went after Donald Trump. Talk about insanity. Talk about October surprise. We'll see if anything actually comes of this. I really doubt it. But as a media critic, you know, I wouldn't sit back and just read these claims. Now, this is look, I got to give my respect to Just Security because they cite Fox News and CNN giving you the right view saying here's exactly what it is. And the left counterpoint where they interviewed Brennan. I'll also say Brennan added. John Ratcliffe and others are trying to portray this as an un- as unlawful activity that deserves follow up investigation by the FBI. No, it was a campaign activity. He added, perhaps that may be in which case it's fine. Hillary Clinton was accusing Trump of Russia, whatever. If the Russians believed in their own intelligence that it was a lie and Hillary Clinton was staging it and they knew the Russians believed this, did they never stop to ask? Maybe the Russians aren't really colluding with Trump because they seem surprised as we are by this intel. And if it was just campaign activity, why did they move forward with an investigation of Donald Trump? It makes you wonder. Let me show you how the media is handling things, though. Take a look at this story from Business Insider. Trump's spy chief declassified a slew of documents that national security veterans say was part of an effort to boost the president's president's Russia claims. (laughs) Epic headline there, Business Insider. The slew, the slew of documents was a part of Trump's effort. OK, here's one I really like. Here's Politico. Trump rewrites the Russia probe from the hospital. The president declassified intelligence documents meant to implicate Clinton in 2016 meddling. But officials say they're misleading. Why is Politico giving us an op ed on this breaking news? I guess that's what they do. And that that to me is bad for all of us. If you go to Politico for your news, you, you are, you are uh, approaching a poisoned well. Let me tell you something. My effort here and why I highlighted just security is that they use Fox News and CNN. I am trying not to give you just Fox News or just CNNs. But let me, let, let, let me tell you how Fox News framed it. Greg Jarrett, the Russia hoax was a lie created by Hillary Clinton and one of the dirtiest political tricks ever. The genesis of the smear came from the then presidential candidate herself, full stop. That is not the story. The story is that Russians believed Hillary Clinton was lying about this to distract the public. The the CIA apparently found out about it, briefed Obama, and then instead of saying, hey, it sounds like this isn't true, decided to investigate Donald Trump for several years. Or that was the FBI, sorry, but the federal government did. And there's still a lot of evidence to suggest that the Obama administration, knowing this, whether it was true or not, went after Trump and it was unjust. The, 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 the Russia Gate investigation, all of that stuff was a hoax. I'm not saying it was a hoax in the sense that we know for a fact Hillary Clinton staged this, like Fox News is claiming in this op ed. And to be fair, it's an op ed from Greg Jarrett. The, the actual story from Fox News is, is fairly good. They just say DNA, DNA, DNI declassifies Brennan notes. But, you know, I'm not saying that there, it's definitively a hoax from Hillary Clinton. That's what I'm trying to clarify. I'm just saying that you actually have evidence to suggest. Biden, Obama, they moved forward with the Russiagate investigation after the fact, knowing full well the Russians didn't believe it. The Russians 
weren't colluding with Trump, and they went after him anyway. And it seems like they even framed Michael Flynn and Carter Page. And these are names you may not be familiar with. This is, this is always the challenge in covering these big scandals, okay? Trust me when I say we have evidence to suggest it's all bunk. First, let me show you this. The unmasking of Joe Biden. Now, already, I know a lot of people are saying, I don't know what unmasking means. When the U.S. government spies on someone, if they accidentally capture an American citizen who has a Fourth Amendment right to not be spied upon, they mask their name. So let's say you have a Russian individual who's being spied on because the U.S. can spy on foreign individuals. But that Russian individual is talking to an American. They mask the name of the American to protect their privacy. What ended up happening was in, the sp- in, in their uh, spying efforts of the Russians, they found that, Amer- that an American was talking to them. Joe Biden requested the name of Michael Flynn to see who was talking to the Russian ambassador. This coincided with the same time someone leaked Michael Flynn's name to the press. And we also have evidence to suggest that Joe Biden, Comey, Obama, Sally Yates, high profile members of the Obama administration had a meeting where they were discussing how to how to get Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn was Donald Trump's national security advisor. Interestingly, in FBI notes, they said, what's our goal with this to prosecute or get him fired? And that should be the biggest red flag in the big in, in the entirety of the scandal. Get Michael Flynn fired. What kind of FBI investigation seeks to take someone's job from them? I thought they're supposed to be investigating wrongdoing. So this is why the unmasking issue is significant. Somebody leaked Michael Flynn's name to the press. It was the same day Joe Biden requested the name. It could be because Joe Biden saw the story in the press and then wanted to double check. But it's also possible that you know, he's the one who leaked the name. We don't know for sure. But it is circumstantial evidence of potential wrongdoing. I said potential. This story is difficult to break down. I'll leave it at that. But let's talk about what's still going on with the Russiagate stuff. They haven't stopped. Okay, even with this new evidence suggesting that Hillary Clinton may have been the one who faked the whole thing. Let me remind you, Russiagate was not true. The Mueller probe found no evidence. It was all debunked. And there was there was probably some some stupid behavior in the Trump campaign, but nothing that reached the level of a criminal for, you know, conspiracy to, you know, to, to work with a foreign government. Nah, none of it. Why did they move forward with it? Why did they move forward with the investigation, having known that Hillary Clinton was accused of just making it up? Why are they still pushing it? Schiff, Adam Schiff, sees rise in Russian disinformation as Trump attacks mail-in voting. Foreign adversaries want to undermine confidence in the American election, and the House Intelligence Committee chairman says they are amplifying President Trump's false assertions. Well, they've backed off, uh, from, uh, for the most part, from the claim that Trump is working with the Russians, but they're still pushing the idea that the Russians are doing the same thing, but only now it's just Trump is a useful idiot. At a certain point, we have to say enough. <laughs> enough with the Russia stuff, man. I'm just not, I'm not believing it. Here's an interesting story that goes into the heart of uh, the Russia Gate hoax, Obamagate. Michael Flynn transcripts released, calls with Russian diplomat detailed. This is what's, this is the most important aspect of why it's, it's, it's messed up. Joe Biden unmasked Flynn. It's why it's, it's why it's messed up that Michael Flynn, Trump's security advisor, was ever prosecuted in the first place. It turns out at the time that Donald Trump had won the election and they were transitioning to the White House, Michael Flynn, who was national security advisor to Trump, asked the Russian ambassador not to escalate tensions, sanctions with the U.S. That was it. And according to many progressive journalists, honest ones, anti-war journalists, they said, that's well within the role of an acting national security advisor, acting in the sense that President Trump was elect. He was president elect at the time, not the actual inaugurated president. Why did they threaten Michael Flynn with the Logan Act, Why, which has never been used before? Why did they go after him for lying to the FBI when he wasn't even in a formal investigation with the FBI? It was sabotage. He was doing his, he was in his normal course of duties. And more importantly, amid all of this, why aren't we getting more attention on this story? Hunter Biden, Joe Biden's son, received $3.5 million wire transfer from Russian billionaire Senate report. What did the Democrats and the media say? Nothing, no big deal. This is why I, I ask you guys to share the video. Because I know most of you probably know this, but do your friends, do your family, 
Do they know that Joe Biden's son received $3.5 million from a Russian billionaire? Have they ever stopped to ask why that would be? They ever stopped to ask? Uh, I, I, look, I know they don't understand it, but now, now hearing it, will you stop and ask yourself, who was really colluding with Russia? Was it Donald Trump? No, the Mueller probe found nothing. What about Joe Biden's family taking money from Ukraine, taking money from, from Russians? It makes you wonder, doesn't it? The New York Post says, Hunter Biden received three point, a $3.5 million wire transfer from Elena Baterina, the richest woman in Russia and the widow of Yuri Luzkov, the former mayor of Moscow. Senate Republicans revealed in their report, Baterina is referenced in the 87-page report, which was released Wednesday, addressing her payment to Biden's investment firm in early 2014. Baterina became Russia's only female billionaire when her plastics company in Teco received a series of Moscow municipal contracts while her husband was mayor. It said in providing background on the businesswoman. The report described her involvement with Biden as a financial relationship, but declined to delve deeper into why the wire transfer was made. The probe also found that Baterina sent 11 wire transfers between May and December 2015 to a bank account belonging to BAK USA, a tech startup that filed for bankruptcy in March 2019. Nine of those 11 wire transfers were first sent to Rosemont Seneca Partners, the investment firm founded by Biden and Chris Hines stepson of the former Secretary of State John Kerry before being transferred to BAK USA. I'm going to stop right there. I don't know what that means. Maybe Joe Biden's son didn't do anything wrong. That's fine. But if we're going to launch a years long probe of Russia and collusion based off of rumors that bore no fruit, isn't it fair to say that we should at least investigate what's going on with Ukraine, Burisma, Hunter Biden, this $3.5 million transfer? I mean, come on, man. If if these if, if Donald Trump appearing on TV and saying, oh, Russian hackers, if the DNC email leaks, if all that, if that was enough to warrant this, this investigation into Donald Trump, isn't this enough to warrant an investigation into the Democrats? Well, right now, John Durham is investigating the origins of the Russia probe. And we've already had one indictment of an ex-FBI lawyer who altered evidence, essentially framing Carter Page, who worked for the Trump campaign. So we know there has been impropriety. A lot of people on the right think there's going to be a, a, a perp walk and you're going to see Obama and a bunch of these individuals, you know, walk away in cuffs. I do not believe that will ever happen. I think Hillary Clinton will not be getting arrested. Barack Obama won't. But I do think there's going to be low level FBI agents, CIA, CIA agents and other feds who are going to face serious consequences. What's astounding to me is that you can have an FBI agent actually text another FBI agent that they're shocked Trump is winning. We won't let this happen. We have backup plans or we have insurance. And then they lead the investigation into Trump's people on bunk charges. That actually happened. That was Lisa Page and Peter Strzok, FBI agents. And now these people are being venerated by left wing media as if the Russiagate thing was true. It was a disaster. The New York Times received Pulitzer Prizes for this. The media had pumped out insane conspiracy theories for years. You know, Rachel Maddow was one of the worst perpetrators. And now we have declassified documents. Before it all started, there was reason to believe, maybe not good reason, but there was reason that Hillary Clinton faked the whole thing and put our entire country through this because it was her turn. Talk about not respecting a peaceful transfer of power. That's what we've seen so far. Now, what this really means in the end, I can't tell you who gets arrested. I don't think anybody for the most part, but I think it shows us that everybody's playing dirty. Donald Trump could declassify everything, and apparently that's what's going to be happening. And I want to see the documents. The the, the Democrats seem to have been playing fast and loose and playing dirty politics. We know this because there was an uh, an FBI lawyer who removed evidence to uh, implicate Carter Page. Carter Page uh, again, so much, so much context here was actually a source for the federal government, I believe for the CIA. And the FBI lawyer removed that context so that they could get a FISA warrant against him and spy on him. When Trump said his campaign was being spied on, the media called him a liar. He's making it up. He's crazy. Turns out it was true. And they, then, then they argue semantics. What does it mean to be spied on? So what's happening now? Man, I don't know for sure, but I do know we have absolute circumstantial evidence of impropriety from the Biden family. Now, maybe we don't blame Joe Biden for the sins of the son. 
if Hunter Biden is using his family name to get favors and make money, it's not really Joe's fault. But I think it still warrants some kind of initial inquiry, maybe not a probe, maybe not an investigation. But isn't it strange that Joe Biden interfered in Ukraine, getting a prosecutor fired? And it turns out that prosecutor had an open investigation into the company his son was a board member of. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Apparently not to the media and apparently not to the Democrats. They're going to act like nothing happened. Even though now we have evidence to suggest it may have been Hillary Clinton who did the whole thing. They're, they're just saying, ah, Trump's making it up. Man, two-tiered justice. I am extremely worried about what happens if Joe Biden wins and the establishment is given the reins again and they start making import appointments and giving power to their cronies to manipulate the system where we will then have no justice. Right now, John Durham is investigating the origins of Russiagate, and we are finding more and more impropriety and potential process crimes and crimes. If Donald Trump loses, it's all over. They're just going to end the investigation. They'll get rid of Bill Barr and Durham. That'll be the end of it. No more investigation. No revelation into what really happened. So maybe that's why they're trying so hard to win, because it's, uh, it's a lot different now. The stakes are higher. There are people who did wrong in 2015 and 2016. And if the Durham probe continues, maybe they'll find themselves in prison. But I don't know for sure. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 6 p.m. over at youtube.com slash timcastnews. It is a different channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.